Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be explaining the code behind my, one of my games, that is Rock, Paper, Scissors versus an AI or another player. So it can have one uh, human player or two human players, and then it has a possible AI for when there's one player. And if you would like to download this game, there will be a link in the description that will take you to all my other games with it. And as usual, I'm on uh, Chemitech. I just learned it's pronounced that way. But yes, there is also a link to that down in the description. And let's get started. I'm going to run through this pretty fast and then get to a demonstration of the game itself uh, towards the end. And so this whole beginning is just an intro. It just says, welcome to the game, asks how many players, and then um, label A is if it's one player. And it, they're actually completely separate games. So this, is, this whole first part is just AI. And then down below will be the second part, which will be for two human players. And the first thing it asks are how many wins are needed. And uh, that, you can read this right here. And W is what you input. And it checks every time right here at the start of the round if either the player or the AI, because this is the first one, if they have met the win condition, which is the wins needed to win the game. And if they have, then it'll go to that corresponding menu. And then if not, it'll... This randint right here will generate the AI's move. One is rock, two is paper, three is scissors, and it'll store it to the variable S. And then this menu will ask the player what they want to choose, they, and the player has no clue what the AI chose. And um, based on what the player chooses, it does the same thing. One is rock, two is paper, three is scissors, and it just goes to the label, sets it to that, and then goes to this menu here. This whole menu right here, where is label F to this end right here all this does is it's a little pause waiting menu that just says rock paper scissors shoot with tiny timers in between and then here we get to checking the um, this is the displays of the uh, players moves T A L A and W A are a tie against the uh, AI loss against the AI and a win against the AI based on if the player chose rock if the AI chose rock, then it's a tie. If the AI chose paper, the player lost. And if the AI chose scissors, the player won. And that's all it does for these three menus. This is if the player chose paper. This is if the player chose scissors. And then down here, it just does this if R equals 1 to make sure it displays the right menu. And all it does is display player 1, AI in opposite corners, displays how many wins they each have, and displays what they chose. And that's what all these menus do. And then it pauses, and it displays either you lose, you win, or a tie. Which, yeah, tie. Those three are the three losses against AIs. These are the three possible ties, and these are the three possible wins. And then down here, it just goes back to the beginning and keeps going until someone uh, meets the win condition, which is just getting the wins that were inputted. This label BA is if you beat the AI and it just says you defeated the AI and then it goes back to the beginning and you can play again or quit and then this is if you lose against the AI, AI wins and then label B right here all this is is the completely second game and this just starts a new game but with two players instead and it still asks how many wins are needed and it's the same variable usage because it, they're completely separate. They don't interact in any way. And then it's almost the same except it says player 1, choose your move. It sets the variable. And then down here it says player 2, choose your move and sets the variable down here. And then it does the exact same things. It just does the if r equals 1, if s equals 1. And it just uh, TP tie against the players, lost against player 2, win against player 2, because player 1 is always displayed first as R, player 2 or the AI is S. Same thing down here, this just displays the player 1, player 2, the amount of wins, what they chose, and who won. These are the three player 2 wins, these are the three ties, these are the three player 1 wins, and then down here at the bottom, all it does is it displays who won, player 1 beat player 2, or player 2 beat player 1, because obviously you can't tie overall. And then it just restarts the game to the very beginning. Or And then uh, that last thing that said label QQ, all that is is if you chose at the beginning to quit. If it's a one player, two player, or exit, and that's QQ right there. 
Okay, now I'm going to jump over to a demonstration of the game. And if we run the program here, you'll see the welcome menu. And then we press enter, and then we get this menu here. I'll do the two players to start. I'll just be choosing for both. How many wins are needed? I'll just do three. And then we can see if player one would choose rock, and then player two chose paper. See it displays rock paper. Both players have zero wins currently. And then it should say player two wins the round. And then it'll go back to the beginning, player one. And then player one chooses scissors. Player two again picks paper. And then you see player two now has a win, but it choose it dem displays what they chose. And then player one wins. And now they're all tied up. And then I can demonstrate a tie. If they both choose paper. There we go, paper to paper, and it should say tie. And then if I go in again, they should still both have the same amount. 1 to 1, but now player 1 has won again. And I'll just demonstrate the AI function by letting player 1 win. You win. Player 1 beats player 2. And now if I go to single player, how many wins are needed? I'll do 3. And now I only get to choose my move, and the AI chooses their move. So I'll choose paper. It says rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Because I added a wait time for going against AI. Uh, when you have two players, it's kind of boring to have that wait time in there. So the AI chose scissors when I chose paper. So the AI won. So I lost. Uh, I'll choose paper again. Let's see. Oh, it chose scissors again. Let's... Let's choose scissors then. Oh, and it looks like I lost overall because AI is way smarter than me. And that's it for this program. And remember, if you want to download it, there's a link in the description. And I'll see you in the next video.